Hey Flag fans, I'm Gray, and welcome back to Flag Facts. Today's show is all about the flag of America's gem state, Idaho. Idaho is a state in the Mountain West region of the country and is surrounded by Canada to the north, Montana and Wyoming to the east, Nevada and Utah to the south, and Washington and Oregon to the west. By size, Idaho is the 14th largest state in the country, and with a population of around 1.9 million people, it comes in as the 38th most populated state. While Idaho was admitted to the Union as the 43rd state in July of 1890, it did not adopt an official state flag until 1907. And when I say it adopted an official state flag, I really mean exactly that. Only one flag was actually produced, and it spent most of its life in the office of the governor. Here it is, the very first official state flag of Idaho. Today, the flag is in the possession of the Idaho State Historical Society. The design of the flag is simply the state seal set upon a field of blue, directly above the words, State of Idaho. The state seal has its own claim to fame. It is the only state seal in the country to have been designed by a woman. Soon after Idaho became a state in 1890, it opened a contest to the public to design an official state seal. The winner of the contest, by unanimous decision, was a design by Emma Edwards Green. Luckily for us, much of her work has been preserved, including this original painting of her design and multiple of her first-hand accounts explaining the process of its creation. In one such account, she describes the symbolism of the seal in great detail, saying, If I am going to embody a state seal, I must embody the resources, as they are what makes a state. Idaho is a mining state, so I put a miner on the seal. Women's suffrage was coming in, so I determined not to put two men on the seal, but to place women on an equal basis, and I put a woman opposite to the man, signifying equality between the sexes. In another account, she further describes the meaning of various items, saying that the woman signified justice, liberty, and freedom, as noted by the scales, liberty cap, and her equal footing with the man. The pick and the shovel held by the miner, as well as the piece of ore scattered around his feet, all indicate the chief occupation of the state. The stamp mill in the distance is also typical of mining interests in Idaho. The shield between the man and the woman is emblematic of the protection they unite in giving the state. The large fir or pine trees refer to Idaho's immense timber interests. The man plowing on the left side of the shield, together with the sheaf of grain beneath the shield, are emblematic of Idaho's agricultural resources, while the cornucopias refer to the horticultural. Idaho has a game law, which protects elk and moose. The elk's head, therefore, rises above the shield. The state flower, the syringa, grows at the woman's feet, while the ripened wheat grows as high as her shoulder. The star signifies a new light in the galaxy of states, and the river is the Snake River, a stream of great majesty. The seal also features the Latin phrase esto perpetua, which translates to let it be perpetual. In 1907, the state seal was prominently featured on Idaho's first official state flag, though there was some discrepancy between the official written description and the flag that was actually produced. For one, the flag only featured the picture from the center of the state seal, and not the surrounding band. Perhaps more noticeably, the picture itself only bore a general similarity to the actual state seal. This was resolved in 1927, when a law was passed that required that the seal must appear on the flag unaltered from the official design. Finally, in 1957, the seal was slightly altered and modernized for a final time by Paul B. Evans, and it is Evans' depiction that is still in use today. And there you go, that's everything you need to know about the Idaho state flag. So what'd you think? Is it a good design? Do you prefer the original state seal? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe for more flag-related content just like this. If you're in the market for an Idaho flag, or any other flag, head on over to flagandbanner.com for all your flag-flying needs. And as always, Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time on Flag Facts.